Hi, this is Mr. Smith, and in this uh, video, I'll be giving you a video tour of eCampus and My Math Lab. So we'll start on the Dallas College website, and we'll click on Online Tools, and we're going to eCampus. Now, I've already signed in. You may have to sign in, but once you've done that, you should be able to, I don't know if yours works the way mine does, but I click here, and then it'll take me to eCampus. And let's go ahead and scroll down and now I'm going to show you two different places. Um, uh, i got to be careful here. So this is the DMAT 0315 course for, your, for you guys. So we're going to go there and notice it says uh, this course is linked to Math 1314, uh, College Algebra. Um, so that's the course you're going to want to use to assess the materials for this course, including my math lab. And I will put grades into this course after each test, and that's up to the fifth test, because that's what your grade will be based on, or at least one, ways to, one way to get a grade for this 0315 course. Um, otherwise, everything else is going to be done in 1314. The only thing you might want to check out here is the syllabus. The only thing that's different about this syllabus is when you get to the description of the course, it tells you about 0315 versus the other one, which is going to focus more on college algebra. All right, so let's go ahead and this is a nice little shortcut. You can click here and we're going to go to the 1314 course. So you can see that's for this button or arrow is for recent courses you've been to. So actually, I need to get rid of this one. So once you come in here, um, so actually, we're on the syllabus screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on the announcement screen. Normally, it'll take you right to announcements. So the first thing you need to do is read the announcement. So there's some important information here as far as what's in eCampus and what I would like you to do. Um, talks about a few different things so make sure you read through that and so we're going to want to click on syllabus after you do that and you're supposed to print that out and read it so once you click there you can either download it and then print it out or you can just print it directly so read through the syllabus make sure you understand what's in there and you know throughout the semester if you ever have questions a lot of them will probably be be answered somewhere in the syllabus, but you can certainly ask me anytime. Let's go ahead and move on to the next link here. Or actually, uh, yeah, we did announcements. Let's do this one here. So taking an online course. So if you've never taken an online course, um, this is this is two different locations in the Dallas College website where they have some pretty good information. So I clicked on the first one. It's getting started with online courses or classes. So they have a little checklist. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get things up in the system earlier, so you won't be able to get in two or three days ahead of time. But there's a number of things that are on here that I think are really good stuff to know if you're taking an online course. And then at the end, they have a pretty nice little video. It's just a couple of minutes long. It has some nice tips. And so as a minimum, I would encourage you to look that over. Now, if you're a veteran of online courses, you probably don't need to spend much time there, but I, do, I would like you to at least look it over. So the other option is this one here, and it takes you to this page, Getting Ready for Online Learning. And you'll notice there's actually five links. The one I just showed you takes you here. And so if you're like, man, I'm, I'll take all the information I can get, well, you can find some other information on here as well. And again, it's all well done. And I'm going to have you introduce yourself this first week. And one of the things I'll ask you to do is just share if there's one or two things you found in there that were useful that you would share those with us. All right, let's click out of there. Now, we'll go to my math lab in a few minutes, but I just want to show you the other things. If you click here, you can email me. Um, click here for grades. There's no grades in there right now. But again, the first time you'll see them is after the first test. 
Um, otherwise, they're always in my math lab. Resources, so you should know what's in there. Ask a librarian. Probably don't need that for this class. Um, there's a number of different links in here. I would just encourage you to look it through. Student services, counseling, career center, so on. Um, accessibility, that's a really big thing starting this year or started this past summer, really. Um, let's see, we have uh, also the help button here. So the main thing it has in here is help for eCampus. If you're having problems, you can call or get online support. They also have some tutorials. Now Blackboard and eCampus are essentially the same. I'm, I believe these were made by Blackboard. These were probably made by Dallas College or another a group. But anyway, so those are some videos that you might be interested in. Let's so that's everything I wanted to show you, oh, except for here. So tomorrow morning or Monday on August 24th, we'll have our first class. You just click on Virtual Classroom, and I'll have this set up so that you'll just have to click on a couple links, and you'll be able to participate in the, the lesson. So let's see. Um, only thing I'd have to say about that is um, it's really important that you're part of those sessions. Um, I, I've found that students in this course, normally it's good to have a lot of interaction. It's good to be working on things on a daily basis. Each day I'll cover, cover a couple of lessons, one or two lessons, and then you could spend time working on the homework. And, and a lot of times um, I may not need the whole class session, so at times I'll give you a break and you can work on assignments, you know, like maybe I'll give you a 10 minute break and then you'll come back and we'll work on the next lesson. So uh, anyway, highly encourage you to be involved with all the sessions. I think that's going to be really important if you want to be successful in this course. Okay, so there's also math tutoring. There actually was a math tutoring link under resources. You could also check that out. But if you click here, this gives you detailed instructions about how to get signed up. So I guess you have to enroll. Even if you don't need it the first week or two, it would be nice. I would encourage you to at least check it out and you know get that first question and, and ask a question of them and, and see how they do. And let me know. Um, I mean, I, honestly, I, I'll be your, I mean, you're going to, have most access to me, but at the same time, if I'm not available when you need help, that's another alternative. And it's all free, which is kind of nice. And then if you click here for the division office, this is basically a virtual version of the office and you can get help at the division office if you need it through that link. All right, so I, oh shoot, I just clicked out of campus so let me get back in sorry about that all right so where were we there we go okay so now we're ready to go into my math lab so all your work in my math lab you're gonna do after you click on this link now the first time you come in and I think when you click on one of these uh, it's going to ask you to register. I don't know what's involved in doing that because things are different this semester. Um, in the past, students would go to the Pearson website and they would sign in through a different place. Starting this semester, everybody's doing this through eCampus. And so you'll always enter my math lab by clicking on this link. And uh, the first time you get in, you'll have to fill out some information, but after that, you'll uh, you just go right in. So the first thing you probably want to do is run the browser check. So it's checking my computer to make sure I have all the programs I need to run my math lab. And I'm just missing a test generator, but I don't care about that. So once you've done that, it may ask you to download some stuff, but it depends on your system. You know, most of the newer computers, you're probably going to be fine. Sometimes people that have problems have to run that twice, so just something to keep in mind. 
Another thing I ought to mention while we're here is um, the Chrome, Google Chrome is a great browser for this. Um, you know, if, if you're using a browser and it doesn't seem, or you're having problems with it, I'll probably have you try Google Chrome, um, but there are other ones that work well too. All right, so let me show you a couple other places before we get into assignments. That's where you'll spend most of your time. So eText, of course, that's where you can see your textbook. This one takes just a second to pull up, maybe a few seconds. All right, so we're almost there. So it's going to bring us to the first page of the book, Chapter 1. And if you click on here on the menu, you can go down to whatever section you're interested in. So let's say we want to go to 1.4. This is the section in the book for 1.4. Now I don't have the whole uh, page open, or I'm not using the full size, so, but it's pretty easy to, to click between pages and very easy to, to work with. So, so that's where you can find the book. But most of the time, you're probably going to access the book through the homework. So let me click out of here, the tab up above. It does take a little bit of getting used to moving back and forth. You saw me I already clicked out of this once. Um, so we also have a multimedia library. And that's basically all the materials that the authors made and, and you know the company made to help you learn the material. So let's go to chapter one, and again we'll go to we'll go to section five, and I just clicked on all the, the the media here, and so when you click here, it's uh, this is the book for that section 1.5. There's a video here. The nice thing about this book is you actually have a section video for every section. So I'm working towards, like, I do not have videos for this first chapter. I'm going to try to make them, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done in time. Um, or at least may, may or may not get all of them done. But this is the, the authors of the book, or at least one of them, or, or maybe they rotate out, I'm not quite sure, but this is their lesson. So it's pretty, you know, good. And... When I put mine in, you'll see it'll say 1T, and then you'll have a link to the video. And normally there's one or two, and it's basically what I normally do as a lesson, and so that's the same as what you're going to see in the live uh, presentations or the live or in our video sessions. So if you, for some reason, you missed a video session, Hopefully, I will have a video for the section that you missed. So I'm going to do my best to make videos. All right, so let's go ahead and click out of here. You just click on the tab up above. For grade book in my math lab, again, this is where most of your grades will be. You'll come here. If you click here, it'll give you a little more detail. There's nothing to see right now. And then the last thing I want to mention is this integration support. So if you click on that, there's this ID here, and apparently if for some reason during the semester you need to get some help, some support from my math lab, they're going to need that information. They may have you click on here to download it. I'm not sure, but they'll tell you if for some reason you need some help. Hopefully that won't happen. All right, so now we're ready to get into my math lab. So we'll click on the assignments. And basically all your assignments will be in here for the whole semester. Now, you'll only see part of them at a time, but right now you have an orientation assignment. This really is just about how to put answers into my math lab. So uh, if you're pretty savvy on the computer and you don't have any problems when you're doing graphing and stuff like that, you're probably okay. Notice I made the due date in December, so you can come back anytime that you need this. All right, so let's look at uh, section 1.1 homework. You know, I, I had to stop the video. If you, let me just go in here real quick. I can't, I don't think we would in here, but in any case, uh, this is where you find the lecture and these are the videos 
I think these are the videos that when you're clicking on the help buttons will show up for certain problems. So let's get out of there. Hopefully I didn't just repeat myself. Oops, and I got out of the assignments again. All right, so let's move on to section 1.1. So I'm going to go ahead to question one. And actually, I think I'm going to move ahead a little bit here. There's an arrow down at the bottom here. You can't see very well. Let me move a little bit ahead here. And we'll do this one here. All right, so if I were to solve this, I would add 11 to both sides. And so this would be negative 25. All right, so I'm actually going to put another answer in here. We'll just say 25. Now down here, you can't see it very well, but it says check answer. Of course, that's wrong. And I'm just going to keep clicking on check answer. And the last time, three times, it'll say final check. And I guess there's a skill builder that you can use to help you learn the material. So you might want to check that out if you're having problems with a certain topic. But So notice we have a red X now. Now I could move on. There's arrows right here to go back or forward. And I could go on to the next problem and come back to the ones I missed later. Or right here, there's a button that says similar question. And so I'm going to click on that. And notice I get another problem. I'll add 9 to both sides. So let's see, that's 12, negative 12. And this time, hopefully I'll get the right answer in there. And check your answer. Oops, check answer. Uh, did I, what did I do? Let's see. Oh, how about negative 12? No, negative uh, 12, yeah. Gosh, I am just not thinking very well right now. And check answer. There we go. And now notice you got a green check. So as soon as I hit a next question, this red X will turn green. Turn to a green check. And, and now we can go on to the next problem. Well, actually, we're on the next problem. So my point is, if you're willing to go back and correct the problems that you miss, and sometimes the problems are a lot more complicated, so you may be less more or less willing. Um, you can get 100% on your homework. So let's go ahead and click on question help here. I'll show you else, what else is here. So sometimes there'll be videos in here. There is an animation, which is basically a video without a person. Usually it's like a computer voice, I believe. Um, so you get help me solve this, that'll help you solve this problem, and then it will give you a new problem, and, it, and then you'll do that one. Or you can click view an example, and then come back and do this current problem that you currently have. You can click here to go to the textbook for this section, 1.1. If you click on ask my instructor, it'll send me the problem, and you also can make a comment as far as what your question is. Um, sometimes I'll just... I do a little, a quick written um, response if it's not real complicated. For more involved problems, I may do a video and send a video back to you. And then I'll try to make those videos or those solutions available. I haven't figured out where to put them yet, but at some point I'll try to make those available to you. Um, you can print out the homework, but just be careful. I'm not sure that if you print it out and you come back in, the problems don't change, so you may want to play around with that. Um, I know some people like to do their work on paper. Now, keep in mind, as you're doing the homework, you really should have a notebook. You ought to write down the problems and show your work. Now, maybe in these problems here, you don't need to show anything. You know, maybe you're really good at solving equations. But uh, certainly, uh, you know, with anything you don't already have mastered, you should be writing down those problems and showing all your work. And then when you take the quizzes, you're going to have, um, you'll have those notes available to you. And, and you should do the same thing with the quizzes as well. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. I think actually that's about all I have to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and end right here. Let me know if you have any questions or any problems with eCampus or with uh, my math lab.